the CIA, the NSA, and our local police departments are coordinating surveillance in a way that they've never done before and are tracking, uh, uh, tracking us in a way that's unprecedented. And what do we know about the Trump team's approach to all of this? Well, you know, of course, you know, we're in this process right now of um, waiting to see how the cabinet fills out. But we know just even from his initial announcement, like he has Giuliani as a director of cybersecurity. Rudolph Rudy, Rudy <laughs> Giuliani, former mayor she, of New York. Yes. And I think in that capacity um, really was responsible for some of the most regressive surveillance policies piloted in New York that, you know, became adopted by many cities across the country. You know, under him, he put William Bratton, the head of the NYPD, he put into policies that led to stop and frisk, you know, which we know has led to the, de you know, the decline of relationships between people of color and policing, police institutions. But also he did something very interesting um, right before 9-11. He created something called um, the demographic unit, uh, which later became the zone assessment unit which basically surveilled every single mosque in a hundred mile radius of New York City. And that included sending people to be um, uh, surveillance operators within mosques, and it, they surveilled communications as well as the actual geographic locations of community centers, community businesses, and even people's homes.